Let's fix it if you're not receiving mail on your iPhone or iPad. This is a common issue that can stem from connection glitches, incorrect settings or problems with your email provider. But there's no need to stress. This guide will walk you through the simple and step-by-step -step solutions to get your inbox working smoothly again. So let's dive in. For solution one, you can verify email account settings. Open your phone settings app, scroll down to the bottom and tap on apps. Find the mail app or simply search for it, mail. Once you find it, just open the mail app from here and choose mail accounts. After this, find the mail account that you're having trouble with. For example, let's just choose Gmail. And from here, choose account settings. On this page, tap on SMTP and select SMTP server for the Gmail or Outlook you're having trouble with. From here, disable this setting and wait a bit, then enable it. Once that is done, close the settings app and if you have the mail app in the background of your phone, simply swipe up from the bottom of your iPhone to open the app switcher and swipe away the mail app to close it. I just closed the app store. Never mind. I'll just close my mail app like this. So just do the same thing and close your mail app. After this, the main part is to restart your iPhone. So you can use the accessibility to restart your iPhone or you can use the power button to restart your iPhone. Once you have restarted your iPhone, hopefully your problem will be fixed. But in case the problem is persisting, then you can try the other solutions. Solution 2. Offload and reinstall the mail app. Go to settings. Tap general. Select iPhone storage from here. And after this, scroll down and find the mail app. Once you find the mail app, just tap on it and find the deleting option. If you cannot find anything like offloading or anything like this, then go back and find the Gmail app or the Outlook app, depending on the trouble you're having with. For example, if you're having trouble with Gmail, you can simply offload the app from here. And I'll confirm the choice and select offload again. After this, simply select reinstall and reinstall the Gmail app. And you can do the same for the Outlook app if you're having trouble with that as well. But in case you're having the, a specific problem with your mail app, you can simply reinstall the mail app. For example, just go to your home screen and find your iPhone's mail app. Press and hold on to the mail app. Choose remove app and then confirm your choice by tapping on delete app from here. Once you delete the mail app, all you need to do is go to the app store and download the mail app from here. So once you download the mail app from here, just sign back in with your Apple ID and everything. And hopefully with this, your problem will be fixed. But even if that did not fix the problem, then try the next two solutions. Solution three, remove and re-add the email account. Open settings, scroll down, tap apps, find the mail app and then tap on it. Choose mail accounts. After this, just find the mail that you're having trouble with and choose delete account and confirm your choice by tapping on delete from my iPhone. Once you have done that, you will find the add account option. So just tap on add account and choose your process to add your account again and see if that fixes the problem. Solution four, reset network settings. Open your phone settings app again, tap general, scroll down to the bottom, tap transfer or reset iPhone, select reset and choose reset network settings. Confirm with your passcode after this if you're prompted and choose reset network settings from here. Once you choose this, hopefully your problem will be fixed. But remember, this won't delete any personal data, but it will reset your Wi-Fi passwords and network configurations. And by following these steps, you should be able to resolve the could not get Gmail or cannot get mail issue on your iPhone or iPad. Hope you found this video helpful and be sure to give it a like if you did.